Hello everybody, this is an introduction to a video series about uh, GD extensions. So if you like to write C++ code in your Godot games, this is a good place for you. So GD extension is a successor of the GD native, which has a lot of improvement. Uh, basically, GD extension is a C API that enables you to register C++ classes and implement them within a dynamic library. So the classes that you are going to write with C++ are basically indistinguishable from the core classes. But how to get started? First, you need to go to the Godot GitHub page. And in this section, you should find the Godot CPP. Go inside that and just copy this URL. You need to install Git. I'm working on Linux, but if you are working on Windows or Mac OS, you can do the same thing that I'm doing here. Anyway, so I copied this URL and I already also created a basic uh, Godot project, which I called it test. For purpose of the management, I like to create all of the C++ code inside my project. So. So I'm going to create a folder called GD extension inside here. And then I'm going to clone the Godot CPP right inside here. So, so the way you clone that in Linux, you just open terminal in this folder and just type git clone and a URL for the Godot CPP. In Windows, just you should use a Windows command line. Anyway, after doing that, I'm going to open Godot. You, you can see Godot actually see this folder. I want to say, Godot just ignore this folder. So for that, just create a, an empty text file, which is called uh, GD ignore. Okay, done. And when you create that empty text file, actually this folder inside Godot is gone right now. Okay, that's good. So let us see what is inside Godot CPP. I'm just going to hide this folder, so show hide in and a little bit bigger. All right. Okay. So the most important things in this folder is this one. It's called GD extension. And inside that GD extension is, uh, you can see the extension API.jensum. Actually, if you open that, basically the information about all uh, Godot core classes are inside here. So if you go to the classes, you can see, for example, this is a, a star 3D classes. And all of these classes, all the information about all of the classes inside Godot are here. And if you change something in Godot source code, for example, you make a new class in Godot and you want to use it in your GD extension, you should make adjustments here, which is called extension API. This is just a good thing to know. And after that, uh, I just open a terminal here and I just write scans-help. You can see all of the options you have for building Godot CPP library. So actually you can see, you can uh, choose your platform, you can choose your, um, your target. It can be editor, template release or template debug. And also you can see, for example, here we have precision. So you, you want to build it with the single precision or double precision. These things should match also the build of your Godot. I just use the default uh, build system. So I, if I run scans without anything, it's going by default uh, recognize my platform, which in my case is Linux. In your case is your uh, Windows system or maybe Mac OS. And it's going to build a Godot CPP library for me. So I'm going to do that. Also, you can, you can specify how many cores you want to use for building Godot CPP. In my case, it's 24. But if you also don't specify that, it's going to automatically recognize that. You just run this and see you when that will finish. Okay, that's finished. And let's see what we have here. If you go to the bin folder, you can see you have a, a static library. In my case, because I'm in Linux, it has .a extension. If you are on Windows, it should have .lib extension. Anyway, that is a static library that you should use this and build your shell library with this static library uh, for using in Godot. 
So for building this static library, go to CPP use scans. And also we are going to use scans to create our shell library for use later using Godot. So in next video, I'm going to explain a little bit about scans. I'm not going to teach you how to build a complex build system with the scans, but enough to start your GD extension project in Godot. Okay, have a good day and till the next video. Bye.